Oh, 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 TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like comentario. Y suscribe. Stephen A. Smith's Monday Night Football Dream shattered with a brutal response. It's on MSNBC, MSN.com. Stephen A.'s dream of becoming a part of Monday Night Football has, has been left in tatters after workers on the show reportedly slammed his personality and said he would not be welcome. <laughs> First take Ho Smith is one of the ESPN's most high profile NBA presenters and best paid, but in his craving for a new contract, he also he has also made his desire to cover football on Monday night very clear. Smith is a regular on the weekday sports panel and also covers NBA games on location for ABC and ESPN. The host has made public his his want to also be involved in Monday night football production. It's it said workers already on the show loathe the idea of him switching over to the NFL. This is crazy. Fabian, That's crazy. Fabian, don't even pose a question. We could we could we could we could go off the rails with this one. You ain't even got to pose a question with this one, bro. I mean I'm I'm sorry if you had one, I'm stepping on it right now. We don't need a question right now. I think I could speak for all three of my all both of my brothers. We don't want him talking football. Why I say that because you can't fake that. You can't fake going through yeah, that's different. the game of football. You can't fake it. You cannot. And you can't use your past to somewhat try to validate you in that space. I played I played two games at at, at, at North Carolina at Winston-Salem. <laughs> Uh, big, big, big house games is my is my mentor. I learned the game from Don Chip from John Cheney and like, all that shit that you do to try to validate yourself in the space of basketball. You can't do that with football. You can't nah. fake it. The analysts that cover the cover football, yeah, I legit. think their, atten their attention to detail is just next to none. Like Yo. it's next to you can't fake it. And them and those former players. A flea. They won't allow him to do it. Cam Newton, they show uh, a play, and people can laugh at Cam Newton all they want, but people forget how like people forget how great some of these guys were Cam at is. their position, right? Right. And when he's when he yo he talks for like the first thirty seconds, I said wow, because like I said, football is so detailed and it's so much with it that bro, if you ain't in that like that. You can't play with that. So Stephen A, man, much love, but you cannot come up there talking about you played for Winston Salem's football team and you hurt your shoulder, but you threw nine touchdowns in two in two seconds. So they gave you a scholarship. Now, bro, leap. That's one sport you have to lead to the professionals, bro. Fabian, he can't say I've been covering football for thirty years. No, he can't. can't say I'm in locker rooms. He can't say I know. He can't do that with this. So that's why I'm like, you can't fake it. With nothing about this can you fake. And as soon as you are disingenuous and inauthentic with anything with football, they'll get you out of here. And I'm talking about the people that are passionate about that game. Former players, people that cover it right now. Who, all these, like these, these guys that moderate, like Greeny is more of a football fan than he is basketball. Rich Eisen is more of a football fan than he is anything, right? The, you know, Dan Patrick is more of a football guy than, than you know, really a basketball guy. And I'm naming guys that have their own shows and do football. Right, right, but what I'm right. saying is if he's going to put his – dip his toe in that, like he can't play with that. He can't play with that because you will look like, you, like you're crazy. But I did just see Tom Brady get $300 million to step off that field and go into a booth, and he is trash. I don't care what anybody says. He is trash. It's not what, that he doesn't know how to explain. That, that don't have nothing to do with it, though. It has everything to do there. with it. it. It has everything to do with the reason that Tom Brady, what did, what, we talked about this. Greg Olson was an oh, Emmy Award winning commentator. He is amazing on, on there. Tony Romo, we didn't know what he was going to be, but I thought they were going to try him out or something like that. Tom Brady comes on there strictly off cachet, strictly off of names. That, that. That has nothing to do. That has everything to do with why you want to put Stephen A. Smith on Monday Night Football because everything you guys said is absolutely true. Why the no. hell else would we bring him over here? But, but I, I, I don't think nobody. I'm sorry, cut you off. I don't think nobody would tune in to Monday Night Football because of Stephen A. Smith. Well, 
Just being I, I honest see. with you, if it was if it was basketball season, then I get it. But I'm being honest. You, they're not they're not tuning in for seeing they Super for Monday Night Football. I no, I just can't go for that. But nobody is, and they did look. ESPN offered Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith role on Monday Night Football twice. So this is nothing new. It's just being re regurgitated all over again. Right. That's number one. They've been trying to put Stephen A. Smith on more stuff. He's been all over the, the TV screen with ESPN. I'm not saying he's good at explaining any games. Again, same deal with, with Woj. That's the whole thing started with Woj. I'm not talking about his football analysis, basketball analysis, because we know it's all trash. That's not what they have more ESPN for. They have more in there because his goal has always been that we have heard him say a million times he wants to be the new Howard Cosell. That's where I think he doesn't realize he is failing at. You don't have no buddy, buddy Muhammad Ali with you. We don't want to really see you like that. You're kind of the annoying guy. Howard Cosell used to be getting saucy in that booth and would go bananas. And Howard Cosell's another guy who, if I'm not mistaken, didn't really know football like that. He just was the, the guy, that your friend that was in the booth with you going crazy. So that's what the deal was with him. I just think Stephen A. Smith, I agree with y'all, where it's like, I don't know how he fits on here. But he's been on ESPN for so long, it's like, I'm not surprised by that. They're already a kind of a, a circus. I don't want to call it a shit show, but it is a circus. Who's on Monday Night Football right now? I, I don't even know who the broadcaster I'm is. Getting, and I'm getting to that. What I was about to say is they just re-upped Ryan Clark. He he does the commentating? No. Uh, I think Dan Orlovsky and Lewis Riddick do it. During the game? I believe. No comment. I may be wrong, but if that's the lineup, that's crazy. For Monday Night Football, bro, you got Chris Collins with on Channel Four. Al mm -hmm. Michaels retired. No, he's there. I saw his face. I'm so. So when, face when does uh Troy Eggman and um uh 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 thing what's our guy Joe Buck? When do they when do they uh, they on games? Fox? They do the Fox game. So remember, this is so this is just Monday Night Football for ESPN. You're talking about ESPN. He's the top dog over there. Oh, so, so they've been trash. Like what? You know what I'm saying? So, like the so I mean, but they've been that. rotating it for a little while, yeah. right? They haven't had like a consistent. I don't remember the last consistent guy they had on ESPN. But what does that remind you of? The rotation, the first take set. That's what Stephen A. wants. He sees an opening. This guy's a shark, bro. I, I could do nothing but respect it. I could respect it, but he's not going to be good. Every I'm not. We're not good at everything, bro. We're not he, good at everything. Do you he, see what happened when he tried doing UFC? Bro, he yeah, oh man, he got broke, bro. He, Joe listen, Rogan man, was, and Joe Rogan called him out, but he he he, he didn't yeah. care. Bro, yeah, no, no, he can act like he don't care. He needs to know his limitations. <laughs> listen, man, as great as you are, <laughs> listen, bro, you know your limitations, bro. You do too much. I'm sorry. He's trying to talk about a a, a, a pee wee basketball game. Right. Oh, so now you have, now you have to now you're an eight year old kid's basketball game to know he that like. Nah, Monday Night Football does not need Stephen A. Smith. I understand ESP, he's the top dog over there, so he's going to bring an entertainment factor over there, and it's going to be fun. And, but once them guys start talking real football, bro, you're going to be sitting there like a deer in headlights. You cannot compete with that over there. I'm sorry. And they know that, and they probably saying in their mind, bro, keep him over there because football talk is serious. They rarely have a good time. You can't yell your way through it you can't joke your way through it you can't gravitas and throw your chest up and i'm espn's guy through it you can't do right. all that stuff that he does with and, basketball you can't do and, that right and you not doing to them what you be doing on first take as far as like uh uh like as if you the head honcho they don't care about none of that no football players can have less money than you. it's a different mindset that mochismo that thing over there is for real they don't care about you being a hundred million dollar man you is not shutting up Ryan Clark when you're talking about football. I'm sorry. I don't care I'm, who you are. You just reminded me. He better stay very clear. Just like I mean, I don't even know if he's too critical of the of the play. Like remember, he could be impulsive, and he says the wrong thing on the air. Them football players, you like you said, they don't. <laughs> hey, my like, M. Stephen A. Smith up man, in the bro. in the parking lot. Yeah, like like football is. is he don't, he don't, he like, don't play around with Bart Scott. He, yo, don't hey, hey, hey. Bart, he don't talk to yo, Bart. He don't talk to Bart Wild. Please. When I be around my dudes, gotta shout out. I love New Orleans, man. My family out there. My guy Aaron and them guys, man, right? And it's like, God, like, when you around them dudes, yo, bro, when they talk football, you just gotta sit and listen. 
My nigga, they will break some shit down to you where you'll be like, what? You don't even know what they talking about. Mm. Nah, Stephen A. Smith, stay in your lane. Big shout out LaVar Ball. Stay in your lane, bro. Because like I said, what, you, what your mindset is and what you're trying to do for your career, they doing the total opposite. Let them have that. Because to me, football is a serious sport the way you really got to know that to talk about that. It's not funny games. I'm sorry. Football is not funny games like any other sport. My, so, my opinion, stay in your lane, bro. So do we... Are we pushing for him to do it so that he falls on his face and finally is defeated and gets the hell off our TV screen? Or are we telling him to calm down so he can stay on TV a little bit longer? <laughs> Which one are we going for? <laughs> I want him to go on there and fall on his face. You know me. Listen, man. Please. <laughs> Y'all know me. Can't I wait. Wanna, I don't want to see nothing good. I am the hater. <laughs> <laughs> Get up there. Fall flat. So we can have a blast. <laughs> nah, I, I, I don't even want him to taint anything that is going on with football. football stay in your lane we accept you with basketball and that took us forever to do that so just <laughs> stay over there and the goal now is get your late night show don't worry about it. go get your late night show from wherever you're gonna get that from go do that 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 is what it feels like similar to the other conversation we've been having all week with the reporters power brokers they kind of like it's not that we really want Stephen a in our face all day long like that so we're kind of forced to deal with this viral moment every day. Like, why am I watching this? Why is some, somebody sending me this? Why are you retweeting this? And it's they don't want that in the NFL. They don't want him anywhere near that. But it's a lot of money over there, man. And, and, and Stephen A knows it. If he gets to be anywhere near those, those guys in the NFL. You can't hyperbole your way through. The, and he can't say the way he was talking to KD when KD went to Golden State and it was all that, you don't want to make an enemy out of me. I dare you to talk to one of them. <laughs> talk like that to Michael <laughs> Irvin and don't Nigga. think Michael Irvin won't catch you on the, around the corner. Nigga attacking you with the camera on. On! Ain't going now, for now, that that shit is a different a ball game. Wait a minute. I don't want to put this stigma on football players. They ain't got no self-control. They are on there. They're professional guys. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is is that the the thin line of talking tough and 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 he can't straddle that with them? Cause what you said, what you said, mm -hmm. okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like he, they they gonna have they they will quickly check him. Like what? What you say? Okay, all right. So well, Stephen A. Man, you made enough money, man. Just stay on first take. <laughs> you already cornered the game with that. Get your, little, get your little co-host carousel on ESPN they'll for a check, second and call it a day, bro. They'll check him in a minute, man. Oh, oh, boy, oh, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Isus Cribe. <laughs> <laughs>